Colin. Yes. What's your topic? Uh, so, you know, Greg and I were driving in a car like this. That was Thank great. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Last weekend. Uh, well, I don't drive, so I don't really know how a car is driven, actually. Uh, but we were driving to Sony, and we were seeing some PlayStation 4 games before, you know, some of them were revealed or announced or whatever, and we were embargoed, and we were just talking about the games. We were talking about all these things. And, and what came up was uh, The Breakfast Club, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. And we were talking about reboots. And how reboots know. ruin everything, right? Reboots and remakes, yeah. Remakes and all this kind of stuff. Like they re- and they reboot random shit, like Total Recall. Like, why are you rebooting Total Recall? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Uh, and we were talking about things that are too sacred to remake, even though they mm-hmm. might. And I was talking about how I'm horrified that they're going to try to remake The Breakfast Club. Because that, that movie is about the zeitgeist of 1985. That movie is about the Brat Pack. That movie is about the, the, pl- the place and time. That movie is To be clear, they're not right now, right? No, no, no. I don't we think were, so. You and I were just hypothesizing mm-hmm. that I think you're like, they can never remake it. And I'm like, they're going to remake it. Guaranteed at some point, they're going to remake The Breakfast Club. Like, what, what, what are they going to be on their phones in the library? And, Lunch Club. They'll uh, take away their phones. That'll be the big thing. So I was curious to go out, like, you know, whether it's a, you know, a, a, even a book or a movie or a TV show or, or a video game or whatever, like, what are the sacred kind of IP? Mm-hmm. You mean like Babysitter's Club? Babysitter's Club is a good one. Yeah. Babysitter's Club is not a good one. What do you mean the can't? I went. I went back. So I. I remembered. I. The weird Babysitter's Club story is a weird story. Uh, Thank you. Carl. When I. When I. I have two sisters. They're older than me, and one of them used to watch the Babysitter's Club show. I don't know if you guys remember this. I remember the show. Yeah. I and then it was shit. on. It was from like the late '80s, and it was on. It's on Amazon Prime, and I watched an episode. <laughs> Like I was just like I, I was had hold up. I was just in bed one night and I'm like the babysitter's club and I got like this nostalgic yeah. Russell like oh shit it's like the Grassy Junior Highs on there so I'm like yep. oh man um, a lot of that Canadian shit I watched yeah. I rewatched a couple episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark the other day with oh. my girlfriend that shit is super Canadian Gosling was in one episode yeah he was popped up yeah, yeah. yeah that, that is a Can- that is a Canadian yeah. show um, and uh, I was just a lot of those old sh- ah, whatever but. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I went back and, and I was watching that and I was just a little weird. That's just, that's just a little babysitter's club sure, sure. But I was thinking about some of the things that I just feel like are sacred and things that have been remade that are sacred. Like, I think Willy Wonka remaking Willy Wonka mm-hmm. is a huge fucking mistake. Yeah. That movie sucks. The, the new one, the Tim Burton one. Um, mostly because Johnny Depp plays the same fucking character in every movie. We've already been over this. It's the same fucking character in every goddamn movie since Edward Scissorhands. Um, and just whatever the fuck character that is that he plays. It's the same thing with, uh, uh, what's his name from Independence Day that we always talk about? Bill Pullman? No, not Bill Pullman. We, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff if Goldblum. we f- do not go down that road, Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> absolutely do not fucking go down that road with Jeff Goldblum. Why? Because you're going to fight? Because he is the best character actor of our lives. <laughs> but he does play that one, one character. character. <laughs> He's it's pretty an good at that one. Incredible character. character. But uh, anyway, I just want to ask you guys what are some of those sacred kind of things that really need to be left alone? Well, see, this is the whole. This goes back to my Ghostbuster argument from a few weeks ago. Leave Ghostbusters alone. Don't make a third one. Don't make a reboot it. Shouldn't have made a second one. Oh, well, that's that's true as well. But you gave me the thrill at, of being able to see it in the theaters. All yeah. right, that was the big moment for me. All right, being able to see Ghostbusters on the big screen. But what I'm saying right now is just re-release these movies. You know what I mean? Like, well, re- if you re-release Breakfast Club in a full theatrical run, that'd be awesome. So many people would go see it. With kids, I don't know. You have to cut a cool trailer, put every little thing she does magic in it. That's yeah. what sells people. No, put fucking Simple Minds in there because that song's awesome anyway. It was, you know? it was just a joke to me. I know, I know. But like, but like that, you could, like, I, that's a great idea just because that, that that could probably like catapult that song to number one if you did it right again. And like, 100%, yeah. Because like so many people don't know, don't you, in parentheses, forget about me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Ghostbusters on there. Um, but they're going to. Like, that's the whole thing. Is like, that's what's just depressing about this entire thing. I'll blow this world up if they remake The Breakfast Club. You'll blow the God. world up. Yeah, they will blow absolutely. Blow now you're on a list. How are they going to do it? How can you remake something like that? It's you have, really You cast easy, a bunch right? of more high school kids. And like you said, they take their phones away, and that's what forces them to actually communicate with yeah. each other. It's built in. Mm. Like, Martin's going to write it. That's a great early first act plot device. You're going to write that it. Is the, inciting, me, aren't you? the inciting incident is these kids have their phones taken away, and that is like when they have to actually connect. That could happen. That is why I'm going to leave IGN is because I'm going to write this movie because you gave me the idea. <laughs> God damn it. Craziness. Please cast ne- Judd Nelson as the principal. Oh, fucking harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Love that guy. So what, what are some of your other examples? Back to the Future, I think, is one. Mm. Where that trilogy, I will say, stands as one of the best. And it's just so special and so good that if they did a reboot, or a reboot specifically, would piss me off. I wouldn't be okay with mm-hmm. that. If we got a sequel, it would suck ass, but I'd be open to it just because I like really bad things and I like seeing more of shit. You know somebody's kicking that around. 
You know they're kicking around to well, that's the, like, I feel like they could have a lot of fun with that, with an older Michael J. Fox and all yeah. this stuff. And it's like, it's not going to be good, but are you telling me you don't want to see that trailer? You're not going <laughs> to fucking get excited seeing yeah. that shit? I know. Like, that sounds fucking awesome. But yeah, I don't want to do bullshit. Yeah. Mm. It's your grandkids, Marty. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a few. So I go back to go way back. One of my favorite movies of all time is Casablanca. Mm. Don't want them ever remaking that. There's a handful of like Holy Grail classics. They shouldn't touch. And that movie holds up. Like I know a lot of people don't like old movies. That's fine. I get it. They're, a lot of them are slow. That movie is so fucking watchable still right now. Favorite TV show of all time is Lost. I don't want anyone ever fucking touching Lost. To me, that is six seasons of perfection. Colin will now speak for the next hour and a half. <laughs> Not going down that road. Yeah. <laughs> it is the Scott Walker most busted show of all time. Um, no chumps on that show. No chumps on that Except show. Except for fucking everyone on the island. Jack Shepard is not a chump. <laughs> that fool went back for all you know, of them. You know what Cheryl pointed out to me, my girlfriend pointed out to me about, uh, about that show, by the way, is that everyone says, hey, and then hey yourself. Back to them. Over and over again, and I never noticed it until she like pointed out. She's like, they keep saying it. I love the idea of like a, of a control F through the entire series of hate yourself and like a thousand different things. Like about like, like Jack or what, what, that was his name, right? Yeah, Jack Shepard. Yeah, he would he would come. You'd be like, hey, to, to Kate, and Kate would be like, hey yourself, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching Brought Blaine. It back Brought okay. it back around. Yeah, it was a couple. What about so you? Casablanca. Seen... By the way, what are the most cla- what are the classic untouchable movies? We go, we, we go Casablanca, uh, Citizen Kane, Citizen Kane, yeah. Caddyshack, and American Pie. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, hey, first off, they already <laughs> fucked American <laughs> Pie to the ground. No, 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 no. they brought American they brought Pie back. back. They brought it back with the fourth one. They went around the world with the American fourth Pie. one. Greg, Greg and I that went was to the theater. The fifth one with ba- after. We're not band counting band. any. We're not counting any of the straight yeah, DVDs. I think it was like the sixth or seventh. Yeah, if you count those, you got a whole one. You got American Pie, Naked Mile, American mm. Pie, Band Camp. Yeah, we're only doing the theatrical releases. And yeah. Greg and I went to the first showing of that the day it came out. We 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 watched all the other ones the day before. <laughs> What is happening? Right They're now? amazing. They're, they're Everything's good. really good. They're good. Stifler's the American best. American Pie, American Pie 2. <laughs> Big American Sean Williams wedding. Scott fan. Oh, yeah. huge. We what a versatile actor. We got him on this show. Yeah. Other things you can't remake. Caddyshack is one you can't remake. Oh, no. They'll try that, too. Because they remade Arthur. Arthur's uh, Cheryl's favorite movie. Yeah. And and they, I, the original Arthur is amazing. With that Christopher Cross song in the yeah. beginning. Come on. Uh, but they remade that, and that didn't turn out very well. Apparently, I refuse to see it. Uh, Caddyshack, if they ever try to remake that. You also burn the world up. Something bad's gonna happen to the world. They try to remake Caddyshack. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. Yep. That's another place in time. And what's so interesting about Caddyshack is that that movie was very different. It was written differently. When the actors went there and they realized that they had comedic geniuses on their hands, like three or four of them, they just changed the entire script. You know, it was supposed to be about the kids, and it ended up being about fucking Rodney Dangerfield because he's awesome. You yeah. know, and like you're not gonna, and like that's what made that movie Caddyshack wouldn't have been as good if Rodney yeah. Dangerfield was some bit piece in it. And, it was all know, about Danny. And, you know, Chevy Chase and all these guys. Yeah, it was about Danny. That was supposed to be about Danny. And then they realized, that, like, wow, these guys are fucking hilarious. You know, and they just made it about Ronnie Dangerfield and Chevy Chase. Do you see they're remaking uh, National Lampoon's Vacation yeah. with fucking Thor from... No. With Chris... No. Well, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. no. Really? Yeah, we ran that story on the blog real today. It was Thor Jesus and someone else. Jesus Christ. They're, are they doing... Wait, so Chevy Chase isn't in it? No, Thor, I thought, I thought they, Thor is. I thought they were. I thought that he was attached to it. Though. I thought they were like bringing everyone. No, that dude's an asshole. No, oh, I know. I know. I mean, I know that. I, yeah. If 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 uh, Thor is is Rusty, all of a sudden <laughs> Rusty went from like Anthony Michael Hall. I can't have sex. <laughs> nope, you're Thor. You're fine. You can have sex with anyone on this whole vacation. <laughs> um, speaking of Chevy Chase, I'll be an asshole real quick. Uh, there was a great piece on Grantland about um, that was ripped out of that new Saturday Night Live, the live book about oh, yeah. him. And it was real about him in the 70s and like how, how much everyone fucking hates him. Mm-hmm. And they, they mentioned the, the roast to him on Comedy Central from 2002 and like how no one showed up to it and everyone fucking hated him. And how it was the only roast like from Friars Club or from Comedy Central that people were like really mean, like mean, like they meant it, you know? And I went back and watched it and I was like, holy shit, like these people are destroying <laughs> yeah. Chevy Chase. Because they all make jokes about the fact that like none of your real friends could be. Yeah, exactly. And they all hate, like everyone hates him. Yeah. You know, so it's like I was like, wow, I didn't. I knew that people didn't like Chevy Chase. I knew that he kind of disappeared. I knew that the, even the people on Community. Don't I was gonna like say him. at least yeah, he yeah. turned it around with Community and his relationships with those. But like names. everyone, was, <laughs> I, like I, I went back and watched it with my girlfriend. And I was just on YouTube and I was like, holy shit! Like I don't remember this being like yeah, so yeah. serious. That's a sidebar. I think the book is the book called Live from New York. Yeah, like that like, that oral history of yeah. Saturday Night Live. It came like out that. a couple of years ago. That book is that. incredible. Read that. Yeah, one of the most yeah one of the best reads about uh, recent entertainment. You know, yeah, honestly. 
I think that uh, the the franchise that would hurt me the most if it was rebooted, and this is honest, is Fast and Furious. Because if we get a reboot of that, if they stop the storyline from like progressing. So, okay, catch me up real quick. What is going to happen with the next Fast? Mm-hmm. Eight? Is that it? Seven. Seven, sorry. Yeah. Seven and eight. Sorry, we're in April. Back huh? Back. April 2015. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're writing Paul Walker's character into retirement, but are they continuing? Not they, they didn't say that. I thought that's what they said. No. He's... In the movie. Because they've shot a lot. some of his scenes already. They shot a lot of his scenes. His brothers are going to act as doubles. And there's probably going to be some CG stuff yeah, yeah, going yeah. on. His brother Christopher Walker. They didn't say he's going to retire. Like I could have sworn they did. That that's, I, th- there's been like a bunch of different okay, reports of I what they're going to do. Be fine, be fine. But like, I don't know. That's the most likely thing they'll do. But sure. there's some other options they have. I don't know what they would be. Space. He goes to space. He could definitely go to space. So, But are there, is there going to be a Fast 8 now? Absolutely. Yeah, 7, 8, 9 were... Wait, 6, 7. But I didn't know yeah, if this yeah, changed. Seven, eight, anything. nine were uh, seven, eight trilogy. are being shot back to back. No, they're not. I'm pretty six sure six and seven were gonna be, but then Justin Lin said, "Fuck that! I don't want to have to work on that schedule." So six was his last one. So now seven's being worked on, and then by Paul Martin Scorsese. Died. Yes, God, can yeah, you imagine actually. how great that would be? Yeah, but yeah, see, I, I want the, the story to just keep continuing. If they started over, which they kind of they did with Tokyo Drift. But it still was in the same universe, and thank God for that because they just fucking. They did you kept see? Going. Did you see Need for Speed? I did not. That feels like just in, just a fine reboot of Fast and the Furious to me. Well, fuck that movie then, because it's got Aaron Paul, it's got Kid Cudi, it's got a, it's got uh, Kid Cudi. It's got a, we love Kid Cudi. I love Kid Cudi, <laughs> a little buddy. Uh, it's got attractive <laughs> girls. Yeah. Okay. Then it sounds like uh, Fast and Furious. Well yeah. shot. Yeah. It Doesn't have good. Han though. Doesn't have. It has zero Han. Han is. Got solo Hans. Did t- we mentioned a TV show earlier, Lost. Yep. Do TV shows get rebooted all that often? Sometimes. Girl Meets World. That doesn't count. Not, that's that's, that's in the same universe. That's the same. That's the sequel. But I still see that as like what we're talking about, of bringing something back again. Yeah, like something like, I mean, sometimes it works. Like, I don't know if you, have any of you guys watched What's Fargo happening to? Oh. this season? Mm-mm. Fargo was incredible. And that's something that like I love the original Coen brother Fargo, and I'm like, you don't need to turn this into a fucking FX TV show. And the yeah. TV show's incredible. Sure, like it stands completely on its own. Um, yeah, so I've learned to give things the benefit of the doubt. Used to be a hater. Used to be a chump. Now you just mm. crush a lot. Mm. Now I just crush a lot. <laughs> okay. You're shaking the dinosaur. Is he presenting? What's he doing? Euphemism? Yeah, he's ready. He's turning down for what? Turning down for what? <laughs> dinosaur stone. <laughs> All right. Well, that's another. Great, that was a good topic. Do we cover everything? You don't want to be rebooted. Yeah, yeah touch, Breakfast Club is where we started. Yeah, I don't touch the classic TV shows either. Lucy, All in the Family. If they re, if they remade, I, I love, love Lucy. Lucy that might Lucy, be it. Emma Stone's TV. That would be like. <laughs> that would be the you end think, of you everything. Think that, uh, that first of all, Desi Lewis still exists, and you don't think that. That someone at some point has said like we should try to do an I Love Lucy reboot because no. you're fucking kidding yourself. I don't think. I mean, I'm sure some idiot has said it. Wait, it, was brought, it was brought up in the Rat Race movie. Oh, the movie. That is. Wait, it would have to be an actual. It has to be like Lucy Lou. <laughs> or is there any other Lucy? I love Lucy Lou. Scarlett Johansson. See, that's a great idea. Lucy. I don't know why hasn't E picked up that reality show. I love Lucy Lou. Yeah, that's a great idea. And Lucy Lou, if you're listening, and I know you are. Oh, there there's just certain things. Cotter, All in the Family, like all these ideas that were just pieces of pie. I feel like TV sh- TV is more original and does their thing and then stops and then they it's easy I don't know if this is true it seems like it's easier to get a new original IP on TV than it is to get an original IP movie out right and make that connect with audiences because TV's in your house already and doesn't need to make millions of dollars yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah you can totally have a uh, low budget first season then get do money yeah. and, you know do ratings yeah, but TV I don't know I think more and more we are seeing this and we just don't really think about it like Power Rangers Continuously just rebooted, rebooted, rebooted. But it keeps rebooted. going, doesn't it? Like, I mean, yeah. That's, yeah. That's a sequel, 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 sequel. At a certain point, like, I didn't even want to mention The Godfather because I'm like, well, that's almost like the third movie is shitty. You all, you mm-hmm. already sort of took that to a shitty place. Right. That's cool. Yeah. I don't know. Similar to American Pie, but they brought it back. Mm-hmm. They did. Yeah, you we, can redeem it. We'd be on the verge of an American Pie reboot right Could now. Jason if Jason Biggs into Godfather 4. He could bring it back. He could. He brought back Eugene Orange Levy. Black. Yeah, Eugene Levy. He does not yeah. get enough credit, that's for sure. Eugene Levy's a baller, dude. He's the glue of the American Pie universe. Because he was the one who went to the DVD movies. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, and Jim's dad is a counselor now at band camp. American Pie, like, Oy vey. <laughs> <laughs> American Pie presents Oy vey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's another episode of The Game Over Greggy Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you're our best friend because you watch this, and that's why we love you. Um, now we go through all the plugs. 
Remember, pick up every episode of this show each and every Friday when it goes live. Game over, Greggy.bandcamp.com. One dollar. It's an MP3, uncut, unedited. It's all for you. You download it and put it in your ears, and you have a good time. If you don't want to put it in your ears that way, that's fine. We understand. Go over to youtubecom slash greggy. We put the videos up day by day, topic by topic, for your enjoyment. Go to districtlines.com slash greggy. Buy your shirts. Make sure you support the real, real candidacy that you'd want to see run the, the universe that mm-hmm. is America. Love. Bush Cheney. God, fucking fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're gonna love Do you want this to be your president? <laughs> See, that's not helping us. You gotta start thinking about what you're saying. Bush Cheney love was a ticket that once ran for president. Twice. I know. I'm I'm aware. I was alive then. Reagan Bush. Another another ticket. Nixon Ford. Wasn't alive for that one. Remember Gerald Ford? He fell down a lot. He did, he did, he did fall down a lot. Jimmy Carter, Walter Mondale. Now that was a powerhouse. <laughs> How far back do you could go in tickets if we you really want all the way? <laughs> <laughs> Best friends. That's another episode of the Game Over, Greggy. Until next time, it's been our pleasure serving you. That should be. Yeah. I forgot about that guy. I, all right, so I've watched every episode of Full House like 8 million times watching this show my whole life. You want to make sure you want to save this? Everywhere you look, everywhere you go. Yeah. I, always, I thought you were just saying, I thought it was a refrain. Like, everywhere you look, everywhere you... <laughs> no, it's everywhere you go, a- and then there's a heart, and then they were overlapped. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I was just... I, uh, yeah. It's like a Lenny Kravitz song. It's like a Lenny Kravitz song. That was his most favorite famous song. No. His most favorite song. Yes, it is his most favorite song. Uh, Wasn't uh, Heather that Graham in that yeah, video? Okay. Yeah, she was. She was hot. Yeah, yeah. she was really hot. Back Still hot. Boogie Night stays from yeah. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Really? Yeah. Right, I saw it at Summerfest. Just walking around? Yep. Or is she doing something? Just hanging out, just hanging out. You say hi? Yeah. No, you didn't. I saw her the same year I saw the lead singer of the Cranberries. Oh, zombie, yeah. zombie, that's zombie, my that's that's my topic of the week. What famous people have y'all seen at Summerfest? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's and do it. Bombs and their guns. <laughs>